Nintendo had some stuff happening. Uh, Mario turned 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's looked 30 forever. Like, he's always looked like a 30-year-old <laughs> man. He's a plumber. Uh, meanwhile, Nintendo is doing some weird rearranging. Um, you know, since Iwata's passing, they're kind of changing their whole... Uh, their, their corporate structure. And yeah, they, they have are. a new president. And, like, the obvious thing would be, you know, Miyamoto. Everyone loves Miyamoto. Like, he would jump in there. He's the president of Nintendo. And he gets a, a cool hat. And everyone's like, yay! But... They got another guy. Well, because it doesn't make sense to make Miyamoto president, right? It's like having, like, President Bob Ross. Yeah. You know, like, you just, you don't take, like, the creative, crazy art guy that likes painting clouds and trees and you put him in charge of anything. Uh, Miyamoto's the kind of guy you want him making games, you want him doing st- stupid, goofy things and gardening and all the fun things he likes to do at home. We don't know anything about this guy's, like, house or his wife or his family no. or whatever, no. uh, which is fine. But they, uh, they brought on Tatsumi Kimishima, who is uh, a 65 year old man who, you know, this is the kind of guy that you want running a video game company because he's imposing and kind of scary, and I think he's trying to smile there, and that's what that yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah, we got another him. picture here. He's also not smiling. I, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's kind of weird to be like, he's the president of Super Fun Company. Why isn't he smiling? <laughs> because he's a businessman. Yeah. Like, that's the weird misconception with games is that we have, like, like it occurred to me the other day, somebody said something about uh, going on a studio visit and seeing so and so's desk. I think it was like, um, one of the guys from Platinum or something was like, oh my god, it's, it's the, it's the um, I'm drawing a blank. What, it's like, we saw his desk. And I'm like, there's no other form of media where you're like, like, I'm sure Steven Spielberg has a desk, but he's kind of busy. He's around doing stuff. You yeah, know? and it's in an office. Like, you don't see like Axl Rose's desk because he's a musician and he's touring. Axl Rose doesn't have a desk. He might have a desk. He probably Axel, smashed it. I think he, he probably has a garbage can with a guitar in it that, yeah, he, like, that he sleeps in. You know, like, movie directors, they're busy, they're moving around. Like, video games are kind of the only thing where people are going to be, like, really kind of working close quarters in one small place where yeah. it kind of necessitates having a desk. So I, the, I toured uh, Kojima Productions and I saw... Um, um, I'm just, oh, my God, I'm doing a horrible blank drawing today. Um, good job today, Max. You're doing real good. technical artist. Um, Anyway, I saw, his, I saw his desk, and it's covered in toys. And Joey, it's like, man. Joey the technical yeah, artist. Yeah, uh, Jeff, the guy who invented the Metal Gear. Yeah. Joey Jeffs, the creator of Metal Gear. Um, Yoji so Shinkawa. A lot of people want, want uh, Tatsumi to take over Nintendo Directs. Now, there was something very special about uh, Satoru Iwata, and that's not only that he was incredibly creative, but he also ran a company. But he was a good guy to put on camera, right? Like, he got it. He had that sort of, like, pizzazz. Yeah. He had a great smile. He held up bananas. Which, you know, yeah, he held up bananas. He's the kind of guy you want to put out there. That's not always the best idea to do for everybody, and it's not always the best idea to hire somebody specifically to run your company who's also good at that. That's actually something that's maybe like number 10 on the list of things you need to be good at when you run a company, is to be good on camera when somebody turns you into a puppet during E3, right? That's not really the biggest thing. I'd rather him focus on business acquisitions and working with third parties and creating that Nintendo theme park I've wanted since I was five. Uh, yeah. All those things are probably coming, and you know, putting more Amiibo in store, because as you can see, we really love toys. Uh, so stop expecting this guy to uh, put on a, a, a sort of a Donkey Kong costume and go out there and monkey around on camera. It's not really going to happen. He's going to focus on business, and that's good. Yeah. That's okay. On that note, why don't you hop on Twitter, use the hashtag up and in, or in the Twitch chat, whatever. We're on Twitch, we're on YouTube, we are on Xbox and PS4. We're on, we're on like a lot of different things, and it's really hard to keep track of all that. Um, let us know what Nintendo character you'd like to see running Nintendo, and how that would turn out. Yeah. I like to see I like to see Wario running Nintendo. What's It'd wrong be, with you? Well, he's be really know, funny. He'd he, be like eating money. He hoards. Be he like, hoards all you? their treasures. He'd eat the chairs. <laughs> he just. He doesn't what? even eat stuff. I don't know why that. Have you ever played a Wario game? I just feel like he'd get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> drill a bunch of holes in the wall and run a hose through there and just like, of, flood the office. I want I want Kirby to run it because he would just like swallow PlayStation and swallow then just the competition. Copy, copy all of them. Yeah, that's a pretty good pretty good plan. Yep.